I'm being like. <laughs> Hello. Self-conscious. <laughs> Good morning everybody, as you can see I've just woke up, this is what I look like when I get straight out of bed, I am a serious bedhead person, the back of my hair is just a knot, it needs sorting. According to my Fitbit, I've had 7 and 2 minutes, 7 hours and 2 minutes, 7 hours and 2 minutes of sleep, which is pretty good going for me actually. Ah. Anyways, I promised myself that today I was going to get up. Film a YouTube video, have a productive day, and have it up by either tonight or tomorrow. Yesterday I was sat feeling a bit anxious about YouTube things, and I thought the best way to get into it is to just have a relaxing video where I can just do what I like, go about my day, uh, film it, and just be nice and natural. So today's video is a day in the life of me. It's going to be pretty boring, because I don't do a lot. So the first thing I do when I wake up is like check through emails, through messages, have a little scroll on TikTok or whatever, but I've already done that because I have to film on my phone. So you're gonna have to just pretend that I'm doing that. And now let's sort out the this. So before I start doing my makeup, I've just popped up some polls on my story so that you guys can actually choose what makeup I'm going to be wearing today. And while I wait for those to like settle a bit, I'm going to get dressed. I'll be back with literally only a new top for you guys, but it'll be a new outfit for me in three, two, one. Whoa, she's completely changed and she's in a different scenery. Right. I've got all of my makeup to the side here and you guys have picked what's going on my lovely face today so let's get into it the first thing you wanted me to wear was this clinique moisturizer which is one of my faves at the moment i got this when i was shopping for my birthday i thought i'd treat myself because i loved the 72 hour one so much when i had it last year i normally would wear spf but i've left it at my boyfriend's house so i can't wear it today oh if my editing skills will allow it i will put on the screen somewhere like the little screenshot of which one won Primer was pretty 50-50, but this one won, it's the Laura Mercier Hydrating one. And this is the second tube of this I've had, it's so good. The foundation was between NARS and Ofra, and NARS has won. I'm in the shade Light 3, I think you pronounce that, Gobi, Gobi? And then my sponge, as always, is the little Ofra Perfecting Puff, which is the best thing ever. Look at how big this is. Huge. Fitbit says my heart rate's gone up to 96 because I'm so nervous. Lovely and pale. So today's plans are as follows. I'm going to travel into my local town. And the other day I got a package from Elf, which has got like their cheapest products in that you can get in Superdrug and they also included three one pound coins and they've challenged everyone who got that package to go into Superdrug and see what they can find from Elf for three pounds. So I'm going to attempt that challenge and then while I'm in there I'm going to hopefully try and look for Lynn Katie's new eyelashes because they look so nice. She's done a collab with, oh, what are they called? Eyelure. 
So I want to get my hands on a pair of those. I think my friend is going to be coming along with me, so we might go out for a spot of brunch as well. That should be nice. And then we all know I'll probably end up at Starbucks. Foundation is finished. It's looking very pretty. Um, now I'm going to go on to the cream products. So I've got cream contour and cream blush, which I've never used to wear until this year. And now I love it. So both the Fenty bronzer and the Fenty blush have both won. This is shade Butter Biscuit and this is Summertime Wine. I just apply these with my sponge because I don't like brushes that much. When I find a brush that works, I will use it. But at the moment, I don't seem to have any available. It just makes it super quick as well. Like one sponge does it all. I have done that cheat, you just can't see it because the light from out there and I don't have very good lighting at the moment because I'm literally just sat in my bedroom filming. One day I'll have an office, one day. Got that all nice and rosy. Pretty, pretty. The Too Faced concealer is one for the concealer round. This is in shade Swan. I do my concealer like this now because TikTok told me to. And then I also use it to brighten the forward bits of my face. I like to set each bit as I go and I didn't let you vote on translucent powder because this is my favourite. I'm going to have to use the mini because I can't find the big one. But this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder in... This is translucent. I normally use vanilla. But yeah, I like to set as I'm going so that it doesn't crease because I tend to do a lot of facial expressions. I'm being like makes the concealer crease in between. So once I've done that, I shall use the other end of the sponge in the powder and then just loosely set it like that and then use the excess later on to do the rest of the face. This bloody mirror keeps getting in the way because it's so big. Set under there. Fitbit's telling me to get up and walk. Now I'll get the excess on this EcoTools brush that I've had since I was like 12 and you know, Spread it out. I do like a nice matte face, so I do tend to go a bit crazy. Just realised I forgot to let you vote on a highlighter, so I'm just going to use Glazed Donut from Ofra. I like to put a highlighter everywhere. Time for the brows, and Miss Anastasia Beverly Hills has obviously won. So I'll just do them nice and quick for you all. It doesn't take me long to do my brows anymore, it used to take me like a half an hour when I was at school. That's a nice natural little eyebrow, if I do say so myself. I'm like that little girl off the Cadbury advert. Now all that's left to do is carve those out, set the eyelid, mascara, lipstick, and then I'm done. The winner for mascara was Huda, and I think I'm... Yeah, I'm just going to use the curl and length side today. And the lipstick that won today is also Huda. This is First Kiss. Nice and autumnal. And that is me done. I don't tend to put any heat on my hair at the moment, so what I'm going to do is brush that and put a nice headband in and then I will turn and face that way which is where my window is so that you can see it in the natural light. This is how it looks in the natural lighting. I've added my little headband because my whole personality is wearing headbands at the moment and I think I'm ready to go. So this is the package I was telling you about from e.l.f. So it's got all of their goodies that are like under £3 available in Superdrug I think and they've sent me three one pound coins to go and spend in Superdrug to see what I can get elf wise in there. <laughs> one, two, three, you're coming with me. I don't know who I think I am with these flared trousers on, but I am feeling very cool. Baby seat in the back is my sister's. I don't have a secret child. Okay. I'm here, but I'll have to turn this off because I'm not sure how she'll be on camera. So I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hey, why is it not focusing on my three pounds? Three pounds. What about what a bargain? Lipsticks for 
three pounds. Eyeshadow. Eyeshadow's up there for three pounds. I can't spot anything else. Oh, no, it says eight. It's quite a lot available for three pounds. Here we've got lip lacquers, they're three pounds as well down there. Having salmon, smoked salmon with egg on a muffin. Got our mocktails, this is the mango one. Delicious. Cheers. Oh, that looks right tasty. Oh, look. Oh, she's filming it too. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm back home now, it's about four o'clock and I've got to film tonight's look and then head over to the gym at some point as well. I think I'm gonna go about eight o'clock tonight. But coming home is one of my favorite times of the day because I get to come home to parcels. I've already opened this one because I got a bit excited. This is the new Doll Beauty lip liners and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 lip liners. Um, and basically it's like a football team, like an American football team. I'm not sure what it is, but they do have cool names. It's like Girl Code, Diva Forever, Killing It, Boy Bye. And these look really cool. So I'll have a, a test out of some of those on my story in a bit. This is the next one. It's huge. I've just destroyed my address so that you can't see where I live. It says it's from Tam Beauty. I'm not sure what it is. It could be anything in here. So let's get it open. I've opened it upside down. One of the most exciting things about this job is that I literally get parcels turn up from anywhere. Sometimes I know they're coming. Sometimes like this one, I don't and they just turn up. Oh, it's purple. It is. It's the Revolution Friends Collection. Oh, oh my goodness. You're gonna hate me. Never watched Friends. I get this. I get this is on the door because I've seen clips, obviously, but no idea about the lobsters. So there's this, which is the mirror, which is super cool and it's huge. So that'll be really, really helpful. Then we've got two little makeup bags. This one's just plain black and it says Friends. And then this one's got the lobsters on, which I've got absolutely no clue what that's for. We've got little scrunchies here. There's one with, there's one with a monkey on, one with just friends, and then another one with the lobster again. Is it just me or does that look like a dog poo bag? It's not dog poo. <laughs> right, so there's these three lipsticks to begin with. We've got the Monica, the Phoebe and the Rachel. I know who they are, I just haven't watched friends. Um, and then down here, we've got I believe these are lip glosses. Again, we've got like Rachel, Phoebe, Ross, Joey, Chandler and Monica. Those are all the colours. This is the little pamphlet that shows you everything inside and how much it's worth. This must be the eyeshadow palettes. We've got this one, which is the big one, which I think is £21. And then these mini ones here are eight pounds each, I believe. Could be a bit more, but they're quite cute. They've got little Polaroids on. Oh, they're quite sweet actually. So yeah, that's quite exciting. A nice thing to come home to. Maybe one day I'll have to sit and watch all of the episodes of Friends. <laughs> now that that's finished, I need to get on to filming. I'm not sure what I'm going to film yet today. Probably something eyelinery. I'm thinking quick and easy but yeah i'll get into that and i'll kind of show you a bit of my setup as well but i can't make any promises it's not brilliant it's literally just a tripod and some lights i'll also have to clean it first because it is a right royal mess literally everything out all the time constantly i live in a pigsty i'll be back in a wee moment to take you through my setup then i'm trying not to show you too much because it is literally so messy at the sides but this is my setup so we've got um, a mirror to the side here that I can look in as and when I need to, which is a bit further away than the handheld mirror I always have. And then I've got the big mirror in the background. These are the IKEA Hollywood lights, which need a good clean. And then I have my tripod on the desk right in the middle. And I've got out my old phone just to show you how I would angle it. 
so it's about maybe 45 degrees and then in the big mirror if you like when i'm sitting here i can see the reflection of my phone screen and then i can see what the phone is recording so when i need to i can zoom it in and out like this and then have it on the perfect angle you know that like angle that i always have so yeah it's pretty basic and you literally this is all you need all these people with massive expensive like soft lights soft boxes on the walls you don't need it all you need is a tripod, a light, you don't even need a light, you could use natural lighting, and a mirror behind the phone. That is all you need. And this is the look that I've created. I'm pretty impressed with myself, to be honest. Oh, look at that. I've got on Ling's lashes that I got earlier. I got the style, what does it say? It says on this bit that these are the style Yas Queen. They are so nice. They're only like £4.75 in Superdrug as well at the moment, which is actually quite cheap for a pair of lashes. So 10 out of 10, definitely would recommend. Well done, Link, congratulations. Now all that's left to do is take off my makeup, have my dinner, and head over to the gym a bit later on where I will be doing a shorter run today because I did my 5K yesterday, and legs, and I don't think I'm gonna film at the gym because I am self-conscious. Look at the mess that I made on my hand. Every time. I've finished my dinner and my gym session is booked in half an hour so I need to take off this makeup which is the base layer has been on all day and then that's the end of the video. Just pull these bad boys off. Ooh. Such a nice pair of lashes. I normally just chuck my lashes absolutely anywhere but these ones are taken care of. Then to melt down the makeup I'm going in with the Wishful um, Cleansing Balm. All you do with this is literally rub it in and the makeup comes straight off. Just be really, really gentle around the eye area, obviously. And then I'm just gonna run and rinse that off and then I'll be back to say my goodbyes. I hope you've all enjoyed this video and I hope it hasn't been too boring for you. Fingers crossed, maybe you've learned something new about what it's like to be an Instagrammer. Like I said, I was super nervous about this video, but I feel much better about it now, so fingers crossed I can get into YouTube a bit more. Let me know any video ideas you would like me to film, and I shall see you next time. Bye!